Yeah, you know, this is a good time for the young guys to go out there and show their abilities. Uh, they're basically going to get the whole game from start to finish. They're going to be able to get the opportunity to feel the whole flow of a game. And for a lot of these guys, it's a, you know, it's their last chance to kind of show who they are as players. And, um, you know, I think it's an incredible opportunity. It definitely helped me for sure. Um, and I'm right there in my guys' ears just telling them, keep it up, man, because we got two young tight ends. And it's, you know, my job as a veteran now to kind of help push them along and get them ready for this game. So what are, what are um, Lynn and you banks in particular having to show it's just all those, yeah, just the, uh, just the extra effort stuff. Um, I think as a young guy, it's incredibly, um, you know, to show that you can finish plays, uh, whether it be a backside block where you got the ball in your hands and the finish comes 35 yards down and you get hit by four people and you still finish. That goes a long way. Everybody sees that in this organization. Everybody sees it in the all 31 other ones. So uh, for those guys, I tell them that all the time. Look, man, you're, you're showcasing yourself here. Uh, I'd love for all those guys to make the, the team in, in our room, but you know how it goes in the NFL. So, uh, but I'm there for those guys. If they have any questions, uh, Schultz is the same way. We're there to help them out. Coming, coming back off the injury you had, just where where you felt physically when the camp started to now, you can kind of talk about that a little bit. And was there a yeah. point during it where you went, okay, I'm, I'm feeling as good as I am? Definitely all. after uh, Saturday, I caught that ball over the middle, got hit a little bit. I felt, I was like, hey, okay, it feels good. That's really my first shot I've taken. Uh, but before that, you know, it just it definitely does take a few days to kind of just feel it again. Uh, I felt like I was really sloppy the first few weeks of camp, and I'm kind of starting to hone it in really well, and it's, it's, gone, it's gone good. The timing couldn't be better. Uh, Britt's done an amazing job with me making sure that I'm on pace to be where I want to be uh, come the Thursday night. So um, I'm excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you're not an athlete, you might not fully appreciate that. But I'm going to ask you to elaborate. What, what is it about coming off a major injury and that first time that you get hit as being kind of a hurdle that you clear? Yeah, it's, I don't know what kind of mental uh, block that is, but um, and I wouldn't say it's a block necessarily. I was looking forward to getting hit, so you kind of feel it again. Uh, like I said, it's been about a year now since I've been hit, and uh, it's that feeling of catching the ball, getting hit, and getting up and being like, look, I'm 100% and I feel great, and uh, you go to the next play. And so it was a, it was a good moment, and uh, I think it's just another step towards the, where we need to be. You still tell yourself, I'm going to feel 100%, but you still need to feel it a couple of times. Right, absolutely, yeah, out. yeah. I mean, you know, and I'm not going to lie to myself. There's days where I don't feel great, but I perform. You know, I'm at the level I need to perform well. So uh, and that's just part of it. Super Rush got first team reps today battling with Gilbert for the backup role. What growth have you seen from him throughout the offseason? Yeah, Cooper's been a fighter all camp. Uh, he's quiet, keeps his head down, but he's one of the smartest guys on the team. Uh, you know, we came in together all those years ago as undrafted guys, so I've got the utmost respect for Coop and Garrett. Uh, they're both great players, great guys uh, to have in the locker room. I look up to both of them, and uh, it's, I think it's great when you have a battle like that. It brings out the best in everybody. Just like when you have a guy, uh, you're up your first team of offense, however you want to find it, won't have any time before you play Tampa. How do you accelerate that process in the next couple of practices before you play Tampa to kind of get it? much game speed as you can. Yeah, uh, this is kind of the time to start tuning it in and getting ready for that game. You know, uh, we still obviously have our fourth preseason game. We'll be prepared for that, but uh, it's time to look forward and, and get ready for the first challenge of the year. So I think as an offense, we understand what's ahead of us. Uh, we look forward to that opportunity. We've been hungry. Uh, you know, obviously a lot of guys coming off the, the injured list from last year, and uh, we couldn't be happier to get out there together. And uh, Dak got to throw us the ball a little bit today, and that felt great. This, this offensive nucleus has been together for a while, though, so that, that helps. But is there still a little apprehension of, well, is it, are we going to be, you still need time on task. Do we need a little bit of that to be where we want to right, be? Right, yeah. I, I think that uh, they're definitely, we definitely need more practice. Uh, and I think everybody understands that. We're not, we're not one to say, hey, let's take a day off. We want to get out here and we want to get better together because we still have a lot of things that we need to clean up, the little details that make a big difference in, in a long game, right? So, uh, uh, man, I just, I've got an incredible belief in all the guys that we'll get it right. And uh, we've made huge strides through camp. Just gets in the huddle and he brings that energy to you. Uh, you know, he's been throwing us the ball, but today, uh, just to get in there and you see a smile on his face, uh, it's exciting to have him back in there with us, you know, a little bit more each and every day. So I uh, can't wait to have that guy, you know, completely back. We're on the opposite side, opposite side of the field, so we couldn't really tell exactly what he was doing. So was he just in the huddle or he was throwing to you? What, what periods was he throwing to you? Uh, I was earlier in practice. Uh, we were just in group pass, but he's out there, you know, and he looked good. He was throwing the ball really well. And uh, yeah, and he's in there every, you know, before we start every team period, he's in there, you know, making sure we're ready to roll. So that's the kind of leader he is. 
it's the excitement, the energy he brings to the team. Um, and like I said, I can't wait to have him in there full time again. What's, what's changed the last couple of days for you guys with the COVID protocols in terms of players? It's, it seems like it's more defensive side or safety than for the rest of the Yeah, we're just kind of taking precautionary measures, um, social distancing. Uh, it's all, you know, just voluntary stuff. We're wearing masks in there just to make sure we don't have a huge outbreak. Obviously, it's a, you know, we don't want anything like that. So we're going to do what we can inside the building to make sure that we're safe and, and don't have any issues. The team meeting was canceled today. Yeah, I uh, just think for precautionary measures, just to make sure we don't, uh, you know, spread anything. What's it like when the meeting rooms are just so different? Yeah. different? I tell you, I like the other way much more. Where we can get together and we can talk. Um, I'm over the virtual stuff, uh, but you know, we got to do what we got to do. Like I said, to make sure that uh, we stay safe and um, you know, just just make sure we stay as a team and we don't have a lot of guys getting pulled out for things like that. And how close you and Dalton are? Is it bittersweet to think that? Very well. This could be your guys' final season together. Here. Yeah, uh, you know we don't like to think about it like that. Uh, you know I've got the utmost respect for Dalton. I think he's a, a heck of a player, smart guy. Uh, we sit there and talk all day long, and we, we bicker back and forth about plays, and and we give the offensive uh, assistants a hard time about plays that we think should be in the offense. But uh, man, I'm gonna have fun with it. Uh, you know he's a, one of my favorite teammates I've ever had. So uh, I think it'll be a special year for us. Like, what you, if you, oh, go ahead. Can you talk before I went and helped you out a little. You know your first couple years and things. Now he's at Liberty Christian. What are these? What do you think those kids are getting from him? <laughs> I was uh, I was talking to Dak today. I said I hope they have a, a you know a sophomore, junior, senior who can run the option route right now. So uh, I can't wait to get out there and watch him, uh, you know, coach. I think that's an awesome opportunity. I'm super happy for him to be there. I know his kids are there. Uh, to, you know, he gets to be that dad and that, that coach. So uh, man, it's it's awesome for him. I'm excited. You think he's harder on the tight end? <laughs> I think it's just in his blood to be that way. I'm sure he's a you know, heck of a coach and. Uh, like I said, I'm excited to get out there and go see those guys. Go oh yeah, I'm gonna try to I'm try my best. Like, what have you learned about Amari's cerebral nature since he joined the team? And is there a moment or time that stands out when you really saw it? Coop, man, he's just uh, an incredible guy all around. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that play he made in the two-minute drill right there, but the focus to bring the ball across your body like that at the end of practice and it's 90-something degrees outside is incredible. And uh, you know, he's just now being introduced back into practice. So to make a play like that, uh, it's great to have him back. I'm excited to see what he does on Thursday. What's his presence like in an offensive meeting? It's just, uh, you know, he stays quiet. He doesn't talk a lot, but you know he's going to do his job and he's going to do it really well. And, uh, you know, that's uh, what more can you ask from a guy like that. It's you awesome. Talk, you talked about missing one guy getting hit. Have you missed the heat? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I, I feel like I need the heat. I feel like today was really good for me. It's another step in the right direction. I was definitely feeling it out there, so I've got a lot of acclimation I need to be doing. But uh, it was good. I think uh, as a team, uh, we'll grow from this one. We'll be better for the next one. Appreciate you. Thanks, awesome. Thanks guys. Thanks, man.